I'm sorry, but if this is how you're doing your vision, you're doing it all wrong. Hey guys, if you have been revising by highlighting notes, lying on the floor and listening to loud music, I'm afraid you're just doing yourself a disservice. You're not doing yourself any good. You're spending a lot of time, but I'm afraid it is not going in. Now I know loads of you are gonna say, oh well no, this really, really works for me. This really this is good, I, look, I can do it like this, I can do it like this, I've got highlight different colors and it's great. And no. I'm, I'm really sorry, but no. Loads and loads of research has been done on the way that your mind absorbs information. And reading and highlighting, only about 5% of the information is actually going to go in. Now, we don't want you to get 5% in an exam. We would like you to get more than that in an exam. So, what you're going to need to do is just change things off of it. Now, for the basic facts, there are a few different ways you can go about remembering things. These, these little beauties are an absolute favourite. Flashcards, question on one side, answer on the other side. What is the formula of this? Because there are loads of common formulas, loads of stuff you just need to remember. What is the unit for this? That's the way we can just remember stuff. Or you can go and check out some of my other videos that give you tips on how to remember stuff. Writing stuff on your mirror, putting post-it notes all over the place. That's for the basic remembering things. But I'm afraid your exams are a bit more than just basic remembering things. You need to practice. Practice is really going to be the thing that's going to get you the marks. If you can take what you know and put it into an unfamiliar situation, then when you come up with something strange in the exam, you're going to be fine. So, what you need to do is to get the past papers. You need to get all the mark schemes. You need to do the past papers and then mark them. Work out what the examiners are looking for. Put them in the recycling bin. Print them out again. Do them again. Mark them again. Work out if you've worked out what the examiners are looking for. Put them in the recycling bin. Print them off again. Do them again. And yes, I know this is loads and loads of bits of paper, and I know it's painful for me. I'm trying to save the planet one bit of paper at a time, but we can't do that when it comes to your GCSE. You have to print the bits of paper off, but you know, you can do your bit by recycling them. The other thing you can do is just go and get loads of my worksheets, go and get loads of revision resources I've put on the Google Drive for you, print them off, do them, practice questions, it's really, really the best thing you can be doing. Now, like I said, only 5% of information goes in if you actually read it. Practicing questions is a fantastic way to do it, but an excellent, excellent thing that you can do is teaching other people. So, you can get yourself a little study group, get yourself a little group of friends. Don't make it too big, don't put the boy or the girl that you fancy in there because you will just spend the entire time flirting and not actually do any work, that's not productive. Divide up the topics between you and then say, in a week's time, we're going to come and teach other people this. Because if you can understand it enough to teach it to somebody, then you know you understand it really, really well. And when you're dividing up the topics, don't pick a topic for yourself that you know you know really, really well, because then you're not learning anything. Pick a topic that you don't know really well, and then by the next week, make sure that you do know it really, really well. So you're gonna be helping yourselves and you're gonna be helping other people at the same time. Now, I don't like people having their mobile phones out while they're revising because there are so many distractions from Facebook or this or that or other things. But there are a couple of really, really good apps that will help you revise. So Quizlet is one of them. It's like electronic flashcards. You type in the information and then you can play matching games or if you log on via the computer, you can play little like space rocket games. It's a really, really good way to revise. But this is also doing something. It is not reading, it is not passive. The most important thing when you're revising is that you are doing something. Don't just sit there passively reading because it's not going in. You are going to need somewhere quiet and focused to work. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't have music playing. Just don't have it too loud and don't have something that's too distracting. 
and do not keep changing the album every five seconds if you've got a spotify playlist on just just put it on just leave it and then do not touch your phone until you have finished your revision session because you may think you've been revising for 25 minutes but if you spent two minutes picking a song every time there was a new song that came on well actually you didn't get a lot of revision done in that time now i know this is me being really naggy and i know this is me being like a teacher but yeah i am i'm a naggy teacher but i, I know what i'm talking about and this is going to be good for you so put some music on pick a song pick an album and then leave your phone alone do not revise in front of the television i don't care how much you think you can get done while whatever is playing in the background it's not going in trust me i i've tried to study at two o'clock in the morning with television going on in the background and you will lose five ten minutes engaged in something on the television when you should be revising it's not good for you please please don't do it Okay guys, we are really, really close to the end of exam season. Good luck. Don't forget, ask me anything that you need help on. I'm here to help you. And I'm really, really proud of how hard you've been working. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you, or if you want access to my online classroom, priority video requests, or to the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.